Well, hello everyone, and welcome back to the channel and to a video I had to make. This is very different and very interesting. I've been flown out to Munich today, just for the day, to come and drive this, the City Transformer. So what this is, is the world's first transforming or shape-shifting car. And so what happens is if I press this open slash close button for two seconds, <laughs> the wheels come out. So what we have here is an electronically powered city car with a central driving position that can fold and unfold itself. It can go from being 1.4 meters in width, which is what we are now in the unfolded position, and with the touch of a button, now the car is only one meter wide. That's essentially the same footprint or width as a motorcycle. Something else I have to say immediately is that the heated seat is ferocious and extremely powerful, which is perfect on a very cold winter's day here in Munich, especially as it's just started snowing. Amazing heated seat. So from time to time, you do see sort of interesting creations coming along in the automotive space. But what intrigued me most about this, apart from the fact that it literally shapeshifts, is they're actually going to make this. I think from 2024, this will be available to have on the road. And the vision of this company is to essentially revolutionize travel within cities because they make the very fair point that cars, even the new efficient electric ones and smaller cars, are still too big for cities, especially when congestion is ever increasing. And you can't really argue with that. Now in folded mode, where it's a meter in width, it has a restricted speed of 30 kilometers an hour, around 20 miles per hour. But the idea with using that mode is that in traffic, you can sort of go up or you can filter like a motorcycle would. And it's only really gonna be used then at those low speeds. And the massive benefit of being able to unfold it is that then it creates much more stability and means that you can drive this car up to around 56 miles per hour. The most surprising thing of all though, and it's probably been said before, but this thing is honestly like a TARDIS on wheels. When you look at it from the outside, it's minuscule. There's no other way to put it, but inside it feels really spacious. Oh look, this Land Rover has parked rather close to the Audi next to it. I have an inkling we're gonna fit in there, however. <laughs> this thing is utterly brilliant. Look at that. Yeah, that, that shows you there, that's a Dodge Ram next to me. And even in unfolded mode, that thing looks huge. So I mentioned earlier, this thing has heated seats, but it's actually got most of the amenities and comforts that you would expect in any normal size car. It's got electric windows, and <laughs> these actually remind me of like a McLaren Senna or a Ferrari Enzo, I think they're really cool. We've got automatic lights, we've got Spotify, you can listen to your phone's music. This car even has front and rear parking sensors and a rear camera. And of course, there is a good amount of storage and a usable seat behind me. It's a really strange sensation driving a vehicle from the center. This thing's also gonna have a usable range of around 111 miles. And when you think the average commute within London's less than three miles, that could last you <laughs> over a month. The other joy, of course, as well, is that it just feels like a normal car, to be honest. Everything's where it should be. Although it looks like a spaceship and it is quite literally a transformer, the indicator's the way you'd expect. The windscreen wipers are the way you'd expect. The light switch is exactly the same as a conventional car. And so it's not at all daunting. You can just get in and go. So although these things aren't on the road yet, they're actually available for pre-order. So check out the website below and, and have a look because I think this is a very, very interesting proposition. And there's no denying that these cars are gonna become very common on the road. And they're only gonna get more expensive. So the earlier, the better, I suppose. It also gets quite a lot of attention, this car. Got people looking and smiling at me. I can't actually do the transforming thing until I'm doing six kilometers an hour, so I'll find someone and give them a demonstration. I can't lie, I'm genuinely really enjoying myself right now. I'm in my little cocoon in my city transformer. It's snowing here in Munich. I've got glass everywhere, and so I've got such a good view around me. I mean, it's actually turning out to be the perfect tour vehicle. It's, it's brilliant. Whee! 
across the tram lines. So yes, obviously it's not quite as refined as a full size vehicle, but of course it's not going to be. And like I say, this is a pre-production model. I'm not about to attempt to drive across the country in it either. I don't think we're gonna be setting any world records in terms of range, but what it is, is a very unique and special driving experience. Oh no, this street's really narrow. If only I could make my car smaller. Oh wait, I can. <laughs> Look at my little reflection. I'm just imagining as well, if I had one of these, driving around with <laughs> a friend in the back, I think would be absolutely hilarious. It would just be so much fun because it's got that sort of fighter plane setup with one pilot in the front and one pilot in the back and it sort of feels like that. So I can just imagine with, with a mate in the back, it would be an absolute riot in here. <laughs> also, it's a very conventional display in the middle there. Everything you need is right in front of you and anything else is controlled on this sort of iPad screen to the right hand side. I'm a bit of a country boy in general as well. I, I sort of generally dislike driving in cities, but I have to say, being in something that feels essentially a quarter of the size of a normal car, all of the different cars and the lane changing, it's far less intimidating. And actually, I'm not really finding this stressful at all. Because the thing is so tiny as well, the steering is immediate and very direct. It's a cliche, but it feels genuinely like a go-kart. So that concludes my very quick trip to Munich and my drive experience in the world's first transforming car. I can't quite believe I'm saying that, but it's been a wonderful experience at that. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. If you have, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for lots more content coming in 2023. Also, if you're interested in, well, pre-ordering one of these or just finding out more, go ahead and check the link in the description below. I encourage you to do so. It's a wonderful, wonderful thing, this. And uh, well, I for one am excited to see more of these on the road and over in the UK when we get them there. So thank you all once again and I'll see you very, very soon.